Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com and this is a trading tutorial for Elliott Wave. Now this is a trade that I'm in currently with my inner circle. We're on the weekly time frame, we're trading the fifth wave. Okay, it's a pretty standard setup for the software that I developed uh, through my trading strategy for 20 years. So I just wanted to go through the setup, the entry. And I want to talk about the the earnings cycles that have helped us with this and how we would look to manage this on previous behavior. So remember, Elliott Wave is all about behavior. Uh, we, we are trading with the trend after a pullback. And we measure that uh, pullback, main profit taking pullback on a wave four and we trade the fifth wave. Uh, because that's the highest probability move. So let's just look around the chart a little bit first. So when we had this uh, wave four pullback, which bottomed out uh, in sort of March time this year, this is the weekly chart, um, it found support at a previous uh, resistance zone here, support and resistance and this red. But also the big red zone you see here is our pullback zone. So that's our probability zone here. Uh, and that's giving it a 75% probability it's going to go on and reach that automated fifth wave target zone. And guess what? It did um, yesterday. Okay, first day of the week this week had a massive move, and that was helped by earnings. So we'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, but we need to measure part of the Elliott Wave indicator suite is to measure the behaviour of this wave for pullback because it's not just those pullback zones. What happened? Uh, you know, so we look at the stochastic and we've got these yellow dots here. This is our false breakout stochastic and that's part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So you see these false breakouts here on the overbought zone. When it pulls back against there on a wave four and crosses in the oversold zone, you can imagine it's on an elastic band. It wants to return uh, to this false breakout uh, in the overbought zone, if you like. So that's a great behavioral indicator uh, when we have that pullback against the main trend. Uh, so it's behaved well as far as the stochastic. And then we look at the Elliott Wave Oscillator. So what we look for on this Wave 4 is a crowning between 90 and 140% on this Elliott Wave Oscillator, which it did. So in this case, we have Wave 4 that is behaving extremely well. The next thing is uh, to look for an entry strategy. So for me with the entry strategy, I used earnings as um, earnings back in May as the catalyst because when I look left, I see I've got some big resistance zones here and support. So this this little green zone here I've put in here, it, I don't want to get in before then. I want to make sure. So on this week in the beginning of May, we had earnings and it closed near the highs of the week with increased volume. So this is the volume behavior um, indicator. It's a very cheap indicator, but it, it shows you accumulation and distribution candles and low volume candles as well. So in this week when we had earnings, we had very high volume you know, exceeding the previous candles volume. It closed near the highs and right on this resistance zone. So for me, sensibly, the following week, order on at 143.18, okay, uh, just above that re uh, resistance zone. So if we had that continuation uh, from that momentum, from that high volume, from that earnings reaction, we would get in this trade and trade this fifth wave, which we did. But patience is uh, very key with this as well. We've just had earnings again. Uh, the previous week to earnings, we had high volume, closed near the highs. This week, one day has shoved us into that fifth wave target zone. So very, very happy with these earnings reactions. And right now, I've been very patient with this. There's two options. I can either take the profit as it's in the fifth wave target zone right now, because these are FIB zones. Uh, or I can look at the reaction after the last good earnings and note that one, two, three weeks of higher highs, slight pullback with lower volume because you can see the cyan candles there, down candles with lower volume. And then we picked up momentum again. So I'm, you know, I've got to be thinking in my head now that actually 
this momentum does continue but it's a slow boat to China as I usually call it so it's a it's a slow one so this this trade's been on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're in the twelfth week of this swing trade it's on a weekly time frame so I've got to be patient here this could continue to grow into the next earnings cycle as well so right now all I've got to think about is okay let's adjust the stop to 150.39 just here below this re that last pullback in in June okay so this is where I'm locking in profit and giving it lots of room for a low volume pullback uh, after earnings and then we would look for it to continue so when you're trading Elliott Wave and you're swing trading you've got to on a weekly time frame you've got to think about that this is more of a longer term investment and this this swing could actually go, you know, six, nine months. Uh, as long as that momentum keeps going and those little those pullbacks that we have are low volume, we have to take advantage of trading this trend. And that's where we are right now. If I just go to the daily time frame a little bit, I'll just go on here. And we can see um, on the daily we've got a longer term fifth wave move um, but what I wanted to do is show you this earnings reaction here and then we got into the trade just above this resistance zone on the daily and yesterday's candle was massive okay so the the previous days Friday's candle was higher volume than the previous days because that's green using that volume behavior uh, indicator and then yesterday's earning reaction was even higher volume and a great big candle with very little pullback and close quite close to the highs there. So a very, very, very good looking reaction to earnings. So this is what's making me think, hey, do you know what? Let's just lock in a bit of profit and just be patient now to see if that momentum can continue. Because we've got even on the hot on the um, on this fifth wave move on the daily. We, we, you know, we've had two instances where we got those false breakouts. So there is some bu good bullish momentum there. Uh, so again, it's not yeah. the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite is about finding those uh, great wave four pullbacks and trading that fifth wave move. But you've got to understand the behaviour surrounding earnings. If you're swing trading a fifth wave move on the weekly time frame, you're likely to go through uh, two, maybe three earnings cycles. And in a lot of cases, an earnings reaction invariably could be the catalyst to get you in that fifth wave move. But before you do that, obviously, understanding the behavior of that profit taking pullback on the wave four with these uh, pullback zones. Uh, I've put the EMA clouds on there. You can see the 55 in gray held as supports. So that's a non-linear support zone. Then we've got the behavior of the false breakout stochastic and the Elliott wave oscillator. That all gives us confidence that when we get that earnings reaction, we've got a good looking trade here to go and trade that fifth wave. And, that, and that's the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence. So when all the stars are aligned, when you've got that great behavior on the wave four, you've got an earnings reaction that's pushed you towards a good entry strategy. You've just got to be in it to win it. You've got to go for it, but be patient. Then understand that behavior. And those volume behavior candles are really good at that too to see how we are going. So there's great volume yesterday, but this week's volume, only one day, hasn't broke last week's volume right now. So again, be patient, wait for this week to end. Most likely gonna be higher volume than the previous week, but we need a good close. We need the high, 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 low. What we don't want is a high volume rejection of those highs. So we're gonna monitor it closely, uh, but right now this looks great. I am not going to press that flatten button and get out too early I am just going to be patient lock in some profit be risk-free and see if this can continue to run because although that's a fifth wave uh, target zone these can be pushed through and if they're pushed through that momentum continues Elliott wave rules will state that if this wave then becomes longer than the previous third wave it will reprint as a wave three and that's and a lot of people say, well, I'd like to trade the wave three. For me, when the wave five goes through its target and continues to go and turns into a wave three, that was the best opportunity to trade that wave three because we traded the fifth wave move and the momentum just continued. 
Uh, and in that case, then, we, we're in this for the long, long haul because we need to then look for that pullback on another wave four and add to our position or take out and add when we've got that wave four. It gives us lots of options. So hopefully that helps. There's a slightly different video on Elliott Wave because this has happened. Uh, we've got there, but it's all about managing that trade, understanding the behavior, and then hopefully you, you've understood well, how we use those earnings uh, to those catalysts from earnings to to actually trade these weekly uh, time frame Elliott wave swing trades. So hopefully this helps and speak to you really soon.